There are a lot of morning sickness remedies. They can be broken down into natural supplement remedies, behavioral changes, as well as prescriptions. Natural supplements could be B6, where you take 10 to 25 milligrams three times a day and have to let it build up for about five days. You can do ginger, and it could be the actual ginger slices, or it could be ginger tea. Um, create that. Ginger ale isn't necessarily always the exact ginger extract so that is something to be aware of. Um, you can do um, lemon drops, you can do mint gum, you can um, things that basically are neutralizers to the palate for your sensitive stomach. Behavioral changes would be just knowing to either have a few crackers next to your bed before you get up in the morning, getting up slow, um, eating small little bits throughout the day, also not having large amount of fluids throughout the day. Um, and then prescriptions can be written. There's multiple anti-nausea medications, Zofran, Phenergan, Compazine, Reglan being, you know, a handful of them. Back to the natural remedies, there is also um, acupressure spots, so acupuncture or acupressure wristbands have also been helpful. Um, there's a spot on the wrist that has been thought to be connected to helping suppress the CNS, the central nervous system area for nausea, and um, that has definitely been shown to help for some women. When I was pregnant, um, the first two pregnancies, the nausea was there, but I never threw up, so I just, you know, obviously I did do some ginger, uh, ginger teas, and that helped. Um, most of the time, just with working, I was too busy, and you just mainly got through the days. However, when I was pregnant with the twins, the nausea was so bad, and there was vomiting that I did get on prescription medication. I got on Zofran. Um, which definitely helped. Most anti-nausea medicines do make you sleepy, and Zofran is a popular one to take in pregnancy because it does not make you sleepy, so people are able to function and go to work and take care of other kids or do what they need to do. If you like this video, share it on Facebook or pin it on Pinterest, because it will help us raise awareness. We would love to hear from you, so please leave us a comment. Visit us anytime at morningsicknessinfo.org.